Now that is Tommy Richmond at like the Sony. I said Sony. That's Tommy Richmond at the Spotify, you know, concert where they're celebrating the songs of summer 2024. A few people like Tanache and whoever else performed. I didn't check all the people, but this is the first time he performed the song live. So people were kind of surprised at his voice and things of that nature. If you don't hear it, it's because, you know, one of these record labels flagged the video and I had to, you know, take it out and stuff like that so that they wouldn't clip everything and just take all the bread or just shut my channel down or nothing like that. But a lot of people are saying, you know, he sounds like the record. Some people well, actually, let me reverse that. I've seen one person say that he sounds like the record and everybody else disagreed as far as him not sounding like the record. I think that he sounds good. Personally, I think that. You know, you might not think that he sounds good, but I understand that he's a rapper that sings. He's not really a singer. So for a rapper that sings, he sounds pretty good. If he was competing against like the Justin Bieber's of the world and stuff like that, and he was he was trying to actually be a pop singer, like you know how Post Malone is now and stuff like that, it'd be a little different. But this is just what I think as far as like him, if he plans on... Cause it, Two things in mind. I'll just get this out the way. The first thing is for him to have a song this big and this to be the first time he's performing it. It's kind of crazy to me. I would I haven't been clocking him or keeping up with him, but I would think that he's doing shows because this you you hot as f right now. You you super hot. Get the bag. So it's a lot of money being left on the table by not doing those shows in my opinion. So that's the first thing. Ice Spice booking price went up, you know, just from having one smash hit. It went up. She had to actually drop off the tour that she was on with a bunch of drill rappers because she was bigger than them at that moment. And she's been bigger than them ever since she done did songs with Taylor Swift and stuff like that. So with that being said, like, that's the first thing. I think money is being left on the table. But the second thing, to sound more like the records that he does, he does a lot of one ad libs and number two, a lot of backtracks as far as, you know, different harmonies and different melodies that aren't like what he's singing and stuff like that. For example, you know, he's a, I don't have the roughest sand, baby. And that's like, you know, the main lyrics, that's the main line as far as, you know, the main vocal. But then he comes in the back with the hoo, 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 all that stuff. Yeah, I know I'm not you know, Stevie Wonder or nothing like that. But to capture all of that, I feel like he should have backup singers being that he is such a heavy ad lib vocalist. He is not a regular rapper. And I just don't see the vision to where like, you know, if you listen to Travis Scott, Travis Scott uses auto tune. Okay. Now we can get the auto tune on stage. But he is not heavily dubbed. He is not doubling the vocals as far as a bunch of ad-libbing and stuff like that. So with that being said, he could go out and he could do his thing solo dolo. But the way this cat sounds and the stuff he does, it would make sense for him to have some background singers or something like that. That might be something that you wouldn't expect from a rapper, but that might also be something that makes it dope. Let me know your comments or what, what you think. You know, put it in the comments. Be sure to put a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new here. I'm gone.